Welcome back. We've heard how people are searching for answers and turning to faith during the pandemic, but a new study reveals shocking information about what exactly Americans believe. It found about half, 51% of American adults, have a traditional biblical view of God as the all-powerful, all-knowing creator, a dramatic 30-year decrease from 73% in 1991. Of those who believe in Jesus, more say he sinned than didn't, 44% to 41%, and a higher percentage believe in Satan, 56%, than believe in God. Well, what does it all mean? Joining me now is George Barna, Director of Research at the Cultural Research Center at Arizona Christian University. He is also the founder of the Barna Group. Dr. Barna, good to see you. Your group released these findings in the American Worldview Inventory. Even though more people are turning to faith in these uncertain times, we're hearing anecdotally, why do you say most Americans' faith will fail them in the current crisis? Well, you have to look at the substance of their faith, and the reality is that they don't know God, they don't really know Christ. Uh, you know, only set, uh, three out of every ten Americans know Christ as their Savior. We know that only about three out of ten Americans bother to read the Bible during a typical week. And then we, when we ask people how they make their day-to-day -day decisions, where they turn to for advice, God typically is not in the equation. We look at the impact that the virus is having on people's attitudes and values. And what we find is that the primary focus right now is emotion, with the primary emotion being fear, and leadership. They're looking to the government for leadership. Once again, God isn't really at the center of their thinking as they try to figure out how to deal with things, how to understand what's going on, who to trust. We look at their perceptions about the Bible. And we know that only four out of 10 Americans, based on the new survey, believe that the Bible is true and accurate in the things that it teaches. You put together their overall view of God, only one out of 10 Americans believe in that definition of God as you started to describe it, uh, but also believe that God loves them unconditionally, is involved in their life, has a reason for everything that happens in their life, and are certain that he exists. Only one out of 10. So by and large, what we see happening is that people are looking inward rather than upward for the kind of solutions that they're going to need to figure out how to treat this unique period in history. Rather Dr. than Bono, seeing it as a great time to grow and to minister, they're trying to survive. Dr. Barner, I want to ask you, what does that say about discipleship, spiritual formation, and, and what people who call themselves Christians are learning in church? Yeah, I mean, what we discovered again from the research is that the most effective way that people learn spiritual truths is through conversations and relationships with one, two, maybe three other people who are perhaps a bit more spiritually mature than they are. So there's a coaching process going on. And once again, this is a great time during the pandemic for those kind of relationships to blossom and that kind of insight to be shared. 51% of pastors on Barna's church panel said church attendance in terms of virtual attendance is up compared to typical Sunday in-person worship services. Could that uptick change the trend we're seeing in the worldview inventory? Uh, not likely. When we look at how people's worldview develops, it begins developing at 15 to 18 months of age, almost completely developed by age 13. During our teens and our 20s, we refine that worldview. But after that, we basically run with it. So for the most part, it's too late with adults. We're not really doing very much in developing the worldview of children. And frankly, as we've done content analysis on sermons that get preached, we find that people aren't getting the full counsel of God. They're not getting the totality of what the scriptures teach, and particularly in not a sufficiently systematic manner to help them develop a real world view. All right, Dr. Barna, it is a treat to have you here. Thank you so much for sharing your insights, and we wish you the best. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Thank you.